Hey, what is going on everybody? Ninja here and today we're back at again with a Dragon Ball discussion. Now today's Dragon Ball discussion is going to be talking about Beerus in Dragon Ball Super. Beerus in Dragon Ball Super is in my opinion one of the most probably remarkable characters that we've ever gotten in Dragon Ball and one of the most unique that we've ever seen in Dragon Ball. He, a lot of fans love him for his epic badassery, for his hilarious humor, and all around he's a super dope character overall. And what it's just, he's had so many awesome moments in Dragon Ball Super that are too good to be unaccounted for, so that's what we'll be talking about in this video. The top 7 Beerus moments in Dragon Ball Super. But I'm not alone in this video, I am joined by the one, the only, MJ from Geekless TV. Say hi. What's up, man? Thank you for having me on the channel. Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, it's gonna be fun clown with you. So, would you like to start us off with one of your favorite Beerus moments in Dragon Ball Super? Yeah, uh, this is probably one of the biggest moments, in my opinion, at least way, the way I view it. And that is during the fo uh, fight with God Goku, and you have Goku literally overcome a beam struggle, and you're like, oh my god, you think all this stuff is so cool, you know, like, Beerus is finally getting a challenge, but nope. Beerus literally just instantly moves in front of Goku, tells him he's not the guy he's looking for, bro. Stabs him, bro, and drops him all the way back to the planet, dude. Like, to me, that was a very surreal moment because I try to say this a lot, but the fight in the Battle of God's arc was way different than the fight in the movie. People somehow, like, have this... I'm not sure if they... Like, maybe it's because people stopped watching Super, you know, because after Episode 5 and all that, maybe that's why. So people don't honestly know this, but the fight is very different. And that obviously being one of the big differences is that Beerus literally stabs Goku, tells him he's not the guy he was looking for, and that basically he's boring to him. And Goku literally just falls straight into the fucking ocean, bro. Like, that's a very crazy moment, and it really just cements... Uh, Beerus as this badass, as this overpowerful guy, ruthless, you know what I mean? Yeah, ruthless. ruthless. Dude. So that's yeah, my, just, that's my first one. Yeah, that's a, that's a really powerful scene right there. It just shows that Beerus, he has no chill. He's doing his job as the god of destruction. And just what a great scene overall. But um, pretty much one of my favorite Beerus moments is him destroying a planet in a first episode of Dragon Ball Super. This is one of the earlier scenes of Dragon Ball Super, and it's our, it's our first debut of Beerus if you haven't seen Battle of Gods. This moment is just, it gives us a good introduction of the character. We see his Hakai music of this sorts, and he just, we're just introduced, he's not satisfied, he's very bored, and we see these inhabitants of this planet just get so scared, get so frightened, they're like, they, they're really afraid of this guy because he has some serious authority going for him, and they're, they're offering some food, and he, he chews it, just so, puts so much dramatic emphasis on it. And he doesn't like it. He think it's too. He thinks it's good, but a little too like salty of the sorts. And that's when he was like, you know what? I'll destroy half your planet. And we're like, wait, is he really gonna do it over a piece of food? Boom! Half the planet is destroyed with a simple tap on the finger. This just goes to show how ruthless this character of Beerus is, and how much authority he actually has. It's such a compelling scene, and we and he just like shaking it off like nothing ever happened. Right after he destroyed it, just again that little thing off his teeth and. He just, it's, it's our first debut of the God of Destruction. You can instantly tell this guy means business. So uh, that's just mine. What's your, uh, what's your thoughts, MJ? That's a very cool moment. And what makes it even better, bro, is that when it happens, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but I think that's when Elder Kai kind of freaks out. He's just like, whoa, what was that? So, and then they also they have that extra scene at the end of the first episode when they're like looking up at the skies. Very cool moment, a very good introduction to him. And it kind of shows that, Beerus will be a bit temperamental and he will destroy a planet as he sees fit, you know what I mean? Even if we don't agree with it, <laughs> he'll still take that planet out, bro. So yeah, that's a very cool moment. Uh, Alright, my next one, it has to be, I I'm going with the whole fight scenes here, but mine has to be with Vegeta. Now, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta tries to charge Beerus, and this is after Beerus gets upset on the ship, and literally, bro, he stops him with his finger. Like, I, I asked around, I asked people, like, is this a par uh, like a paralyzing technique? Like, what did he do to Vegeta? Like, he just stopped him. And to me, that is very crazy because when you think about how strong all these characters are, like, I'm not sure if anyone, like, if you're a power scaler, but they're in the billions right now, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> they're, like, way up there. I mean, like, Cell was in the billions, and now you have Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta oh, post no. Blue oh, Saga. No. You have Beerus stop him, bro, with the finger. That is some crazy power, and even if it's not power and it's, and it's a paralyzing technique, it just really shows 
how much of a threat these gods are. You know, like they have healing abilities, they have paralyzing techniques, they can, but he can Hakai, you know what I mean? Like, it just goes to show that this guy has, like, a bag of tricks, and inside that bag of tricks is nothing but epic shit, you know what I mean? So, that was a very cool moment for me, a very surreal moment, and it kind of just, simple, uh, man, it kind of cements Beerus just being, like I said before, this overwhelmingly strong god that not even Vegeta as a Super Saiyan 2 could stand up to, you know what I mean? But, all right, that's my next one. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. That that scene just gave us, like, like wait, did Beerus just do that to this extremely powerful uh, Vegeta? Like, what? We've seen Vegeta all this power. Beerus just right down, just flicks Goku at the top of his head, takes him down easily. And then Vegeta, it just it seriously does show that this guy's a serious threat. And dang, I totally do agree with you, bro. But uh, pretty much one of my picks is Beerus's rage at not getting pudding from fighting the Z Fighters. Now, this is, now a lot of people don't like this one because they think it's a little too silly for him to be raging at something as small as this like you know like pudding of all things like come on you're probably thinking about that but in a way this is very interesting it shows that this guy is not just a regular uh, just a regular antagonist evil for the sake of being evil it shows like this little childlike fun personality that it wasn't really present in any other dragon ball villain today we saw a little bit of this in majin buu like the interesting unique childlike personality that has never been established before and we're now just now seeing it but you know how that went you know fat buu he didn't even end up being the final antagonist of that arc and here we actually get to see a childish antagonist who has this li little side of him that's not like all, all compelling and everything like we've been talking about so much about his authoric side uh, uh, like his serious um, really mad um god of destruction side we haven't talked about his little comedic side this kind of adds to the humor this is a nice mix between badassery and comedy which i think is a very very fun mix and it just it blends so well with this scene we also get to see him just uh, demolishing the z fighters showing some very dope action scenes and showing this guy means business once again and even if we got a good laugh out of the pudding thing we show you do not want to tick this guy off even after one small thing like that so that's just mine uh what's your th th thoughts mj I mean, I agree with that. Like, I, we were talking about how epic he is for stopping Se uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta with a finger. Like, if you remember, he takes out Gohan by swinging Boo at him, bro. And that was ultimate Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, like, these scenes, even though that was a very comedic scene with the pudding, it does show that not only does he have a comedic side to his character, but he is also a real badass. And that's followed up by what he does to the Z Fighters, you know what I mean? So, my next one... We're going to be kind of skipping from the comedic and the authoric side to the the lovey-dovey side. If you remember, he wished back Universe 6's Earth for Champa. Now, I thought that was a very touching scene and very a compelling scene because like we've been talking about, we have seen just these comedic sides to beers. We've seen this uh, badass side two beers but to see this side where he actually cares for his brother especially especially during the universe 6 arc they were constantly arguing you know what i mean <laughs> they were constantly arguing like there was a scene where they were about to go at it and wiz and Vados had to stop them so it was very cool to see him kind of put aside his own selfishness and wish back the earth for champa i thought that was a very cool thing and a very nice thing to do and it makes me wonder bro like if he does have this love for champa you know what i mean this next like universe. a brotherly type thing. Yeah, this yeah. new universe survival arc, bro. What's gonna happen there? Because like their universes are at stake, bro. I wonder, you know, like are we gonna see them come together? Who knows? But it's just very cool to see that he does care for his brother like that. You know what I mean? That was a very cool scene, in my opinion. Yeah, and then uh, I, I totally do agree with you, bro. Like that that scene is very like shows a little more of the calmer side of beers, like not the badass or humorous side, just a regular brotherly side of beers. That it's just he really does care for his brother at the end of the day, and it's he we see like a merciful, pitiful side and. It, it really is nice to see that in Beerus' character, but my next pick is going, going to be a scene like similar to that in a way. It's not going to be like an authoric, authoritic scene like Beerus just going all in or hey, a comedy scene or whatever. It's just going to be Beerus and Goku at the end of Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods after their fight. This shows Beerus' calm side and tells us that Beerus really isn't much of the villain that we would think. He's just the guy that does his job, is the god of destruction. We see a side of him where he just is just a calmer, more guy that doesn't even 
think too much about it. He just shakes off the battle. He's like, you're a really good uh, adversary, bro. Like, a good job. And uh, we, he, he was just destroying, like, uh, focusing on destroying the planet like 20 minutes ago. And now he's actually cool with Goku speaking. We see a little bit more of the heart, uh, heart to heart side of Beerus and really does show that he's a down to earth guy, kind of at the end of the day. Like, just doing his job. Like, what else can you do? There's no other thing to go off of other than having this one job in the world. And we see. Beerus and Goku, they have a, they build up on this relationship a little bit more, and it isn't so much as a battle, as it was so much like Beerus kind of training Goku in a way after this, and it was a very, very interesting dynamic between him and Goku, and we got some more development between those two, and this kind of sparked a little bit more of the Goku looking like Beer, uh, looking like, man, Beer, this Beerus guy is really cool and whatever, so, uh, yeah, but since you already shared your three, I'm gonna share my, la uh, my final one right here, the Hakai. Now, <laughs> I know these last two have been kind of so uh, mixed with, uh, you know, the uh, down-to-earth type scenes, but this one, we're going to go back to the badass scenes here. Hakai. This shows the deadliness of Beerus and how if he's really, really frustrated, like in a serious thing, not even something small like pudding. If it's a serious issue, like with Zamasu interfering with the timelines and everything, and, and taking someone's body, like whatever, you do not want to mess with this dude. He goes up to, right when Zamasu is about to hit Goku and the truth is revealed about this character. He's a, he just lets like, no, I've been caught, whatever. He's about to kill Goku, but then Beerus just stops him with little to no ease. Like, oh no, you're gonna regret this. And it was at this moment Zamasu knew he fucked up essentially. And um, we could hear a sense of Beerus just looking down Zamasu straight into the eyes and just get, get a moment of silence playing with Beerus' music in the background and theme and we get to see this intimidating side and the one word that he says <laughs> Just the literal millisecond after that we hear a deafening scream from Zamasu's voice actor and it just goes all in like he gets disintegrated and Beerus he did that with little to no ease and shows the deadliness and authority of this character and shows that he really when he's mad he's really mad and he will just go all in on you even with it's like little ease or not and I think that's why my, that's my number one so uh yeah this has been our uh, list today thoughts MJ I mean, that's a very crazy scene, and I think many people, many people would agree with you and I that that's probably one of the best scenes in Super and probably Beerus' most epic moment because, dude, that was crazy. He literally just disintegrated this motherfucker, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, like, that scene when, like, you just mentioned, like, when he tries to hit Goku and Beerus stops him, he's like, don't get cocky. Like, again, it just cements that he is the god of destruction, and if you're doing something like that, like, fucking with the time, or just irritating him, you know, just irritating this guy, he will jump in there and he will literally obliterate you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's just been our top seven Beerus moments in Dragon Ball Super. What are your guys' top seven picks, uh, top seven Beerus moments in Dragon Ball Super? I would like to hear everyone's input in the comments down below because tell me, let me tell you this, Beerus is a dope character overall in Super, one of the best things that this fran that this series has actually brought us. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, thank you so much to my special guest, MJ from Geekless TV. Uh, really dope dude to be a part of and... Happy to have him on the channel, and who knows, maybe we'll return in the future. I'll have his channel link in the description. Uh, MJ, any last words? Did you just say I'm a dope person to be a part of? Uh, uh <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, we'll leave it there. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Ninja, uh, peace, everybody.